Nick was with Blair Davenport. Naomi walked in. Blair got upset that Naomi had to ask some question, and then uh, she stormed off. So L.A. Well, I mean, Knight. She, she 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 went to Nick and and wanted. Um... You know, she wanted uh, her and Bailey to have a match against Niven and uh, Chelsea Green because she was mad at what Niven and Chelsea Green did to Bailey, and she's got her back. Yes, and Blair was upset that she interrupted, and she storms off. And then uh, L.A. Knight comes in. He says, A.G. is not really retiring, is he? And he wants to know where Logan Paul is, and Nick told him, sit down, we got to talk. We had a uh, L.A. Knight interview in the back. Kayla says, what did you talk about with Nick? And he uh, basically says he wants the U.S. title. And so Carmelo walks up. He makes it clear he also wants the U.S. title. So it looks like they're going to do something with Carmelo and L.A. Knight with the winner getting Logan Paul or a three-way. Yeah, well, L.A. Knight and Logan Paul are probably, you know, earmarked for each other at the pay-per-view. That would be my guess. We had Andrade versus Apollo Crews. And uh, they're actually doing this new thing that they've they've added with uh, the new production crew. And that is, in the old days, somebody would hit a dive, and then they go, Raw rolls on, or SmackDown, mm. whatever. Now, somebody hits a big dive, but then as they go to commercial, they actually show the dive in slow motion. They did it multiple times on this show. And they come back, and Angel ends up jumping up on the apron. Apollo's distracted. Andretti hits the back elbow. Double underhook neck breaker for the pin. This was a bullshit distraction finish we see on every show. And uh, then Santos comes out and he nods at Andrade, but Andrade just walks right past him. And Santos is pissed off and he's angry at uh, at Angel for not getting this job done. Umberto doesn't like Andrade. Angel mm-hmm. does. So now they're having problems over this. So a lot of storylines weaving together here. Mm-hmm. We had... Heyman showing up backstage, talks to Solo, and he said, you know, when Roman was here, there was a lot of violence, but it was uh, it was about serving the family. This violence here, he says, is just random acts of violence. There's no strategy. And he says, when Roman comes back, we've got to get Cody in check. And Solo says, we've already got him in check. He doesn't even know it. And the fans are chanting for Cody, and Paul says, who's we? And just then, Kevin Owens' music hits, and so they don't finish their conversation. But it appears Solo is getting his orders from somebody else. I'm sure we can all figure out who that is. Mm-hmm. So Angel's so, yelling. So, I mean, this whole thing that's going on is is uh, Heyman and uh, Roman are being turned babyface by the audience. Yes. Especially you know. Roman. I mean, there's Roman rain signs. There's we want Roman chants throughout the show. Yeah. They make it very clear he's coming back soon. So I figured that that's probably in July. So Kevin's in the ring to do a promo, and he said Randy's not here, but he wants Solo and his little crew. And so Paul comes out, and Paul Heyman. Great, great performance. This guy was incredible. Great performance. Incredible in this segment. Do you notice notice Owens lost a lot of weight? I did not. Yeah, he's lost a lot of weight. Well, uh, Paul's promo is is basically saying, the crowd's chanting, we want Roman, and he says, nobody here wants Roman more than me. And he says, you know, you keep calling out Solo's name, Kevin, but Roman, he has great respect for you. All those matches you had, he had great respect for you. You kept coming. He admires you as a threat to the title. But Solo, he's got no respect for you. He's recruiting criminals. And he says, Roman and I turned everybody down. We ran background checks on everyone, he says. Did they? Is that right? Yeah. Uh, how about that? Did they really? I, I'm, I'm highly skeptical. And if they did, it didn't matter. He said, Kevin didn't want these bloodthirsty thugs coming after him. He said, I like you. The fans love you. But if you keep calling Solo's name, they're going to do something really bad. And Kevin says, why are you acting like you're trying to help me? He says, you went from Brock to Roman and Roman lost. Now you think Solo's going to be your guy. And as he's doing this speech, Paul just cuts this incredible promo about how I'm not trying to help you, I'm trying to save you. How many times have you been redeemed over the years? You've turned heel and had to redeem yourself over and over again, but Paul Heyman, oh man, this guy can never be redeemed. He says, I'm a Hall of Fame wise man, but let's not listen to the Hall of Fame wise man. He says, let's presume I have some crazy vision of uh, Solo Sokoa taking over the bloodline. Nobody ever listens to me, he says. 
And uh, he ends up throwing the mic, and he accidentally hits Kevin. And the fans chant, you fucked up. And Kevin's about to beat him up, but Solo, Tama, and Tonga hit the ring. And uh, the Street Profits fly in, so we get a six-man brawl, which leads to the Street Profits versus, I'm just going to call them the Gorillas of Destiny. And uh, Tama got a... That match was really good. It was a very, very good match. Tama Tonga... Tama Tonga was great. ...is great. Tangalo was was okay. But Tama Tonga was out of this world. Tangalo was better than he's been in New Japan. But yeah, Tama Tonga is just on fire. He's one of those guys like, like Roosh. He's just like going hard from start to finish. Yeah, you know what? They don't tell the guy to slow down. Yeah. He's been in there for several matches, and this guy does not go halfway. No. I mean, he goes at a real fast clip. He had that match with L.A. Knight, that singles match, and it was only like eight minutes or something like that. Yeah, and bored in the commercial. L.A. Knight was sweating. He's just pouring sweat after eight minutes because they're just going. Yeah. So we got a... uh, a uh, blind tag. Montez hit the big splash on Tonga, but he wasn't legal. And then Tama hit the ring and hit Montez with flatliner for the pin. Got a problem here in that they changed Tangaloa's name to Tonga Loa. Yes. So we have Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa now. Yes. We have Tonga and Tonga. Yeah. This makes my job difficult. No, it doesn't. It's I'm fine. Sure it does. You're trying to say I mean, Tonga. What Tonga am I talking about? One is uh, Tama Tonga and the other one's Tonga Loa. Yeah. I can't say Tonga did something. I got to say Loa or Tama. Yeah. Just anyway. say, just say um, what's, what's, what's the, what was his name? Um, God, I don't even remember his name. The name that he used to be. When It's so funny because of the angle here. Oh, um, what's his name? Uh, Camacho. Camacho, right. Yes. Yes. So, I mean, the thing that's so funny is is like the storyline is, is that these guys, um, the WWE wanted nothing to do with them. And somehow uh, Solo snuck them in back door because they're too violent and they're criminals and WWE wanted nothing to do with them. And the other guy was there for years. Yeah. You know, but I think most people don't even know that. We had uh, Bianca and Jade defending the tag belts. They recapped that last week. And then uh, Indy walked in. She's all upset and they kind of go back and forth and Bianca so they, threatens they said, to. They said that they injured Candice's knee. So I wonder if Candice has a knee injury. Could be. She wasn't there tonight. Yeah. So we had uh, Piper Niven and Chelsea versus Bailey and Naomi. And uh, ends up with uh, Naomi hitting the rear view, which thank God is now the rear view and not the, she calls it the rear view, which it was for like a decade. And then Niven squashes them both to break it up, throws Chelsea on top, gets the pin. So they announced that Piper's getting a title shot. Mm-hmm. Next Which week. begs the question: Why didn't oh, Piper oh, 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 get the oh. pin here? Um, oh, I mean, she she set up the pin. That's not well, a big she deal. Did but like let her give she, her she a could, pin. No one thinks she's winning the title. It doesn't matter. I mean, she set it up. It doesn't matter at all. The the idea is to get heat on Chelsea because of uh, the idea that uh, Chelsea's getting you know wins that she's done nothing to deserve while she'll brag about winning. But everyone knows Piper did it, so it's not a big deal. But I thought you know like you could just. She, I, I mean, I, I know you want to protect Bailey, um, but I mean, she could have pinned Bailey. But you know, you know, that's not, that's not a necessity either. It's not like this. The major title match is the Nia Jax match. This is just a match to fill time until we get to it. So, you know, that's what they did. So the main event was AJ coming down to the ring, and he essentially tried to do the Mark Henry retirement promo that he did years ago, which was fucking great, by the way. That Mark great. Henry he- retirement deal. Yeah, oh, that was an awesome. That was an all timer. But oh, this yeah. was great. This was this was great too. This yes, was really well. This was very well. AJ was very good here. Um, you know, the Gallows and Anderson stuff was good. Cody is tremendous in that role. He sure I mean, is. I mean, I mean, he played that role. I mean, I, I mean, like again, like there's there's Cody Rhodes outside the ring is is everything. Like he's one of the best baby faces they have ever had, and I mean he's drawn like it too. I mean like, like he, you know, like look, his numbers are bigger than Cena's. You know, I mean, I mean, so that's that would make him the biggest, most successful baby face since you know the Austin Rock era. So essentially, AJ does the whole thing about how he's been doing this forever, 
He's just he can't go back and start at the beginning again. He's been doing this for 20 years. His son just graduated. They went to the party at his house and everything was great. And he suddenly realized, how many of these have I missed? He says, it might be time to stop being the phenomenal AJ Styles and start being a phenomenal father. And he calls Gallows and Anderson over and they all hug and says, I couldn't have done this without you. I love you. They hug. They do the too sweet. And he calls Cody down to the ring and, you know, he says, uh, just want to tell you face to face that backlash match, one of the best I ever had. Crowd was awesome. I'm going to have one last match. That would have been it. But, you know, it's still the house AJ built. And I called you out here to hand you the keys. And Cody actually started crying. It was incredible. Yeah, yeah he was tremendous. Cody says, We've only ever exchanged one text message. It was after backlash. I want to know if you were okay. Your response was, I'm all good, little bro. So I could say a lot about the decision you've made, but what's more important is, on behalf of myself and everybody in the locker room, that you were a big bro for, thank you very much, AJ Styles. And they hug, and then AJ beats his ass. Clotheslines him, stomps a mud hole in him, throws him outside, gives him a Styles clash off the steps to the floor. Crowd's chanting, holy shit. Great, great angle. Excellent angle, yeah. And yeah. Uh, they're going to be wrestling again. Yeah, that's how we on, skip the line. That'll be uh, next pay per view, which I mean, it's cool. You know, I mean, their last match was probably Cody's best match in WWE. Well, I wouldn't say best. The best was pro- the most dramatic was the Seth, the Seth Rollins match after he tore his pec. Yes, um, but as far as like best wrestling match that that uh, Cody's had, I think the AJ match. You know, as far as a wrestling match goes, I mean, the Roman. Some people like the Roman match. Um, the first Roman match, actually, I thought may have been more exciting, but it had the shit finish. The second one, you know, had the good finish, but it was, you know, it was all run-ins. I mean, it was good, but I thought the AJ match was the better, the best wrestling match he's had since in the company. And, um, you know, so do a run it back. Why not? Um, you know, everyone knows, like, uh, the, big, the big one is uh, Randy Orton. So it's just, but, you know, you don't want to rush to Randy Orton. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.